Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing the full release version of Remothered Broken Porcelain. If you missed it, I did play the demo last week, and I'm not going to be including the footage from that section of the game in this video, but you can think of that video as a part one, so I'll leave the playlist linked in the description. Uh, it's about the first 40 minutes or so of the game, so I'm about to play through it again, and I'll let you know if there's anything different. So. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. The game just came out today, October 13th. Let's see. There's a- it kept my save, but I'm gonna just go ahead and see if they changed anything. And are you really suggesting that all this time, these people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite? Oh. The moths. This is a new scene. That were carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret. Making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just for... This drug? The phenoxyl. The farm, the moths. The hypnosis. And all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. The most dangerous of any kind. The only way to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves. And to move on. Richard Felton, Ariana Gallo, Professor Wyman, the Ashman sons, Stefano and Gloria Ashman, they all made a choice. And so did I. So you chose to forget? For 49 years. I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced. Like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. Ugh. It is there, and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Okay, so that was an extra scene, not including the demo. So I think that that character right there is Rosemary, and I think Rosemary is actually Celeste, if I'm interpreting things from the demo correctly. You know why you're here, young lady, don't you? Oh, his lips move now. In the demo, they didn't. Okay, so on the subject of Celeste, that's the character we're playing as. There was like a brief moment spanning about four seconds in the first video where I was unsure whether or not this is Jennifer as in Richard Felton or Jennifer as in Celeste, but it's Jennifer as in Celeste. People in the comments were not pleased that I had a momentary confusion like that. All right, first thing I want to do, check the control screen and it's fixed. I can look at the controls for the first time. Uh, you can press left control for stance. I guess changing your stance. Run, we know what that is. Aim diversion, use diversion, okay. That makes more sense now. Brain is tab. What? I'm gonna have to check that out. Moth power, middle mouse button. We don't know what that, what is that? I'm eager to figure out what that is. Exit interaction, switch camera V. What? I didn't know you could switch the camera. Oh, it's just from side to side. I'm pressing Q, it does nothing. What does tab do? Okay, tab is the objective screen. I guess that's what they meant by brain. All right, well, good to know. Good to hear I can look at the controls now. That's a massive improvement. So, prior to the fire, the nuns were busy cultivating the Ashman family's lands. Okay. Here at the Rossell Gallo Farm, our mission is to grow local produce, employing the red nuns from the nearby Cristo Morente Cloister Convent. Okay, I didn't see these before. There's also this. Ashman's parents have done a great deal for this town, even promoting theatrical masterpieces. Not only philanthropists and farmers. The inauguration of the new season with Gonad's Faust, promoted by the Russell Gallo Farm administrators. A much awaited opening to the new season of theater. Fe uh, Faust! I almost said feast. Faust! Will be held tomorrow at 7 p.m., celebrating Christmas Eve, an event sent to enrich the town's culture. 
Boris and Marta Ashman, husband and wife, have personally financed the project alongside their esteemed associate, Albert Elias Wyman. Who the hell is Wyman? We still don't know. They mentioned him in the first game, too. No idea. Apparently, very important man that everyone talks about, but never actually appears. So, okay, I'm gonna go pick this up now. Yeah, Faust, I read that in high school. Mephistopheles, the demon that he sold his soul to, etc. Now here's the big test. Here's the big test. Let's find out what the laundry room sequence is like. Okay, I can tell a difference already in the laundry room. So, this locker, wow, this locker did not used to be here. Now, I want to clarify a couple of things. In the demo, there was a locker where this cup is now. There used to be a locker right here in the demo, but has now been moved over here. And that's probably because in the demo that I played, you couldn't hide in the locker that was here. There was one here, but you could not interact with it. No prompt came up, you couldn't hide in it. And that's what made this sequence such a nightmare. I had a lot of people tell me that you could hide in the locker and it was easy. You could just do that in the laundry room. But I swear, I tried that in one of my 20 attempts. And you couldn't do that. So let's see if you can do that now. It will be a massive improvement if you can. It, there's a save point there. Wow, they added a save point there. She locked the door. I'm trapped. Okay. Oh my god, and you can walk all the way to it. She doesn't peek out yet. She gives you time to hide. Oh, this is so much better. This is a great improvement. I'm glad to see that they did this. And she leaves. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, that's wonderful. That's amazing. Oh, thank God. Okay. What is this? Oh, you can level things up with the moth keys. Oh, this is interesting. Escape. Sprint duration improved by five. Reduce noise when moving and improves proficiency inside hiding spots. Increases proficiency with defense items. What's this one? Improves the ability to block doors to keep stalkers away. Okay. Improves health recovery. Improves proficiency in using diversion items. Unlocks special abilities when health is critical. Noise from movements reduced 2%. Wait, what does that mean? Add a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. And improves proficiency when using the moth eye. I don't know what that is. So how do I... Oh, you press E? Okay, that's cool. Noise from movements reduced of 4%. So wait, am I upgrading this or this? Okay, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Look at all those moth keys. What? Okay, thanks. Did you see there was like a hundred moth keys going into the box? But I don't have a hundred moth keys. Ooh, we can go this way now. There was a bunch of junk that was in the way in the demo here, but you can go this way now. Huh. Was this like the nun convent? Oh. There's like a little, there's a little dot indicating that you can pick it up, but you can't actually pick it up. <laughs> you can just look at it. Can I go in here? Cinema room. It's locked. Okay. Uh, well, never mind then. Okay, still no sound effects there. That sucks. There have been a couple of missing sound effects still. I'm not sure why. Like, I don't... I don't know if this, the file just doesn't exist or maybe the path to it is... There's no power. It won't work. Broken. Improperly written out or I don't know what. Okay, this is a small thing, but the duplicate objectives from the demo of like, use the phone that was unchecked, that's gone. So that's good. Um, just a quick note from me. I think the objectives should probably be in reverse order from this. I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me that you would have to scroll down to see your current objectives. 
They should be at the top, and the ones that you've completed should cascade down. Um, I mean, I guess, let's see, you can show completed. Okay, show ongoing. You can sort them at least, but I just feel like you shouldn't have to do that. It's a little thing. It's I, I understand that it's a small thing that I'm nitpicking, but I just want... I just want to help. I'm back here trying to get more skills. So, okay, so this is the overall general idea of the skills, and then this is what you're actually getting. It makes more sense now. Adds a chance that after acquiring a moth key or gift another one. Yes, please. One out of five times, upon finding a quick defense item, it will already have the corrosive power up. Sure. Increases the likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 15%. Well, why wouldn't I get this one first? We need to get this one first so we get more moth keys. Gotta upgrade that economy first thing. Alright, I'm gonna concentrate on that one. More moth keys, more profit, more upgrades. That's the deal, folks. This is such a weird tutorial to have here. So, but what's weird about this fight is that you want to get caught. You want her to hit you so you can do the QTE. So I'm gonna do that, I guess. With opera in the background. Come on. Come on, one more time, one more time. Or sorry, one more time now. I got an achievement. Not today, please. Not today! You don't you want to kill me? I widow Andrea just wants a break. She just wants a break. Why can't someone just give me a break? Here we go. Thanks. Is that it or that is it? Sweet. All right. We've got it and. uh now we've pretty much got free reign of the entire floor. We should take advantage of it by barreling into as many doors as possible. Moth keys? Oh, we gotta make some upgrades. I know there were moth keys right there. Bam! Okay, increases the likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 15%. Gimme. We wanna get this to five if we can. Ooh, that one's 20 moth keys. Okay, I'll come back to this though. That seems like a good investment of our moth keys. So I'm gonna go heal at the mirror and then we're gonna go through to the stairs and that's gonna catch us all up to the end of the last video. All right, restore life. And the mirror starts cracking when you restore life. I think if the mirror fully cracks, you can't use it anymore. Something like that? I don't know, who knows. So uh, they did fix some things, some issues and some bugs that I had with the demo. Uh, a lot of them were really small, like when Andrea's taking you to, um, your room at the beginning and she's doing that big exposition dump. Uh, this door doesn't shut in your face behind her. That's kind of a pacing breaker, so that doesn't happen anymore. Um, some of the camera angle glitches, some of, like, the other small things aren't there anymore. They fixed the laundry room pretty well. There's still, like, missing sound effects or missing music in spots. I don't know. It's not... It's not perfect, but it's 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 playable, at least. And I can view the control screen, most importantly. Alright, let's see if this happens again. It does. Okay. What happens now? Oh, I got an achievement. Regression. I guess it's like finishing the first scene or something. All right, some years later, I forgot. We gotta have the flash forward to Rosemary. All right, you guys have already seen this. Oh! Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? Okay. 
I know I said at the beginning of the video that Rosemary and Celeste were the same person, or I, I conjectured that. That would be a really weird twist. It's just there was something that he said. We'll, we'll see it. We'll see. I'll point it out when it happens. What made me think that? All right, beloved adopted daughter. Let's see. At last, redacted, wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, and braided hair. Any information or requested to call the following number, guys? Okay. Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. Okay, so wait, is that her? Wait, 15. Who is that person in the photo? Is that... That's her. It just doesn't look like her from here. Okay. Involved in minor larceny, no permanent residence. Rebellious, solitary character. Doesn't remember or won't reveal any details regarding her parents. Wow. Okay, she seems confused about her past. Does not enjoy communicating, neither with other girls her age, of the facility, nor with tutors. Uh, particular aptitude for musical composition and comprehension of the piano. Entrusted to Stefano Ashman, single. Landlord, 36 years of age, requests custody. She will be incorporated into the Ashman Inn, formerly Rosso Gallo Farm, as a housekeeper. The experience could help the girl gain knowledge and learn the concept of responsibility, preparing her for an eventual reintegration to society. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Is, are we playing as Lynn? Is that who Rosemary me? is? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. This sounds like someone young trying to do an old man voice. What is Reed? A pun? Ooh. See, so he knows that this Good is a evening, fake name that she's you using. Come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. That's what makes me. That's what makes me do think you that. Me? She was Celeste, but I guess not. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. Okay, that's where the demo ended officially. Oh! I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. Whatever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. Oh, brother. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless oh, miners? it says Professor miners? Wyman, too. It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And the moths? What? What weird loading screen? Why is there a loading screen right there? Is that intentional? Oh, can I, at last. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, I barely God. touched it's just her. A bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me! <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Uh-huh. Drink up. Were you all stalkers or something? I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. Uh, no, huh? I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman. That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea, that man is dead and has been for a long time. He hung himself. You see, you were just dreaming. 
I, 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 I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... Pass. You broke my arm. I'm here for you. You're gonna break my other arm? Okay, another weird loading screen. Okay, just do a fade out or something. Just do just do a little fade, a little dip to black. A few months before, okay. We're hopping around a lot. A few months before. Okay. I'm I'm back. I just had to reset where we were in my head. Oh yeah, he mentioned the cigarettes. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Okay. I guess we're friends now. Where are you from? That's grounds Wellington for friendship for teenagers. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. I thought she was hired. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well. You're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I really liked that. <laughs> that she did. That was really funny. The pleasure was all mine. Hang on a second. Are are they hang are they building up Lynn as like a romantic interest for Jennifer? Cause last time I checked, healthy romantic interests don't break your arms. You have to wake up. I beg you! Wake up! Shit, they drugged you! Listen, you have to leave! You have to get away from this place! Yeah, where were you the entire time just now? This story... again? Everything you said before! I believe you! Porcelain and everything else you saw! You heard Andrea! He... He hung himself years So ago. porcelain is Wyman? It's okay. Him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? Oh, thank you for holding it straight up to my face. <laughs> Professor A.E. Wyman's suicide. Was it staged? Let's read this Dostoevsky novel here on the side. The man reportedly hung himself on November 14th after being accused of playing a part in the man-made fire at the Christmas Morante convent. They're obsessed with that fire. God, just keep banging on and on about it. Professor Albert E. Wyman also received numerous threats after Richard Felton's adoptive daughter went missing. Richard Felton was commonly known for his involvement in the phenoxyl research and experiments. However, these charges were later dropped due to lack of evidence. I remember that from the first game. Um, Wyman's family members did not respect the standard procedures and went ahead with a rushed cremation and burial. Interesting. Preventing the authorities from carrying out a detailed autopsy on the body. Despite being identified by the coroner, family relatives, and by his former business partner, Stefano Ashman, the authorities are unsure as to why the family sped up the cremation and burial process, fueling suspicions that it might have been to cover up tracks of a possible staged death. It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't so you understand. just clipped that? There's no time to explain. And kept it? They know who you are. They know... All right, because 
In the future, when he's burned on the what bed, he claims about? he doesn't know Why she didn't is. You ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave, but you never understood. For fuck's sake! Why? Okay. Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. What's up here? They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Fucking hell, Lynn, just oh. tell me! That drug. Yeah. The disease. And what does that have to do with me? And I got a milk carton. Okay, wait. Sorry, are you talking right now? I kind of left you to go get some collectibles. Sorry, but there was a moth key. You understand, right, Lynn? Oh, she was waiting for me. How sweet. Okay, let's resume uh, following. I just want to get the milk carton and the moth keys. Is that okay? Hey, I asked you a question. I said, what does it have to do with me? Do I still have... Oh, I lost all of my items. I crafted a bunch of items in the last segment, but I lost all of them. Your birth oh, mother. oh, no. Moth keys. loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your organism? Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. What, the it. mods? Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Including you? Is this the reason why we met? Oh, sorry. Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, dear God, no. Not again! She just ran away! Why'd you just run away? <sighs> when a mother moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat. Are you talking about Lynn? Who's Mother Moth? Is it me? Are you talking about me? Oh, I gotta get up. I got Unbreakable. That's a Dead by Daylight joke. You would only get it if you play that game. See, the killer slugged me, but then I got myself up. I can only do it once. Okay. A telephone. It's coming from Ashman's office. Well, let's uh, let's pump the brakes real quick, okay? Oh my god. So many objectives. We can just let it go to voicemail for now. What else? Oh, moth key. Look, look, look. Right there, right there. Hell yeah. You get ten of them, by the way. It says 1x, but really it's ten. I think it should say that, just to... Uh, Make it clear. What? There's more moth. What? Where were they? I just picked them up. I don't know. I just. They were there, I guess. There's nothing in here. Okay, fine. Fine here. I'll go into Ashman's I'm sure office. Of it. I can hear it ringing behind the door. Oh, wait. What's over here, though? There's a bunch of stuff. Oh, come on. What I get? Ashman's room key. Okay. Is that all I got? What about in here? Anything? No? Sorry, I know that the phone ring is probably driving you guys nuts, but... Fuck! It's locked! Oh, there has to be another way. What, I just... Damn, it's locked. Didn't I just get Ashman's key? What'd I just get? I gotta scroll down to my active objective. Find Lynn, go into the manager's office, answer the phone. Find the keys from the manager's office, go to room 211 and find the keys for manager's office. <laughs> What? <laughs> go to room 211? Well, I gotta go back upstairs? Oh, I did keep my items. Never mind. Yeah, because I got like a corrosive bottle and shit. Okay, sorry. Uh... Room 211. Okay, let's get this. I've got 55. Increases the likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 50%. Let's go. We're gonna be rich. Achievement unlocked 100% luck. Not 100%, hey listen. 
If I get more moth keys, you might just say I got lucky, but I put myself in a position where luck was available to me, and that takes smarts, intuition, some mental fortitude. Okay, this is room 211, I guess. So, okay. Ashman, he's sleeping. Oh my I'll have god. Have to be as quiet as possible. I'm sorry, but there's a moth key over here. I saw it from a mile away. I, I wasn't gonna miss it. Okay. Yeah, but was it like right here? Did you sleep on your stomach? I have one simple rule for life: never trust anyone who sleeps on their stomach. How's that comfortable? Now you guys are gonna be all pissed off in the comments. Um, I sleep on my stomach. Yeah, exactly. Nobody should trust you. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Excuse me. I love that. <laughs> she just barrels into these doors. It's so funny. She does it with her busted arm, too. Ow. Look, see, her, her, her broken arm is her right arm. She, she, she just busts in there with it. That's gotta hurt. Okay. Shit! I missed it by a second! It was literally ringing for a thousand years. Maybe they left a voicemail. Dude, that phone was ringing for... literally forever. Celeste Felton, this is... this is me. It feels like... An eternity has passed since I ran away from home. She is the girl. Collected item. Uh, I like how- She is the girl. Okay. Um, yeah, well, let's listen to it, I guess. Ashman? Hi, Stefano. It's me, Ariana. Stefano? Oh, Ariana Gallo. I knew it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you, stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. Yes, it's true, I did love you once. But so much time has passed, too much time. It couldn't work, and it didn't. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us. A godforsaken yeah. couple who will never see their little girl ever again. Yeah, fuck you, Ashman. I wish you could understand. Leave us be. Wow, that was a long-winded... Wait. What'd you just say? Ariana, Richard, no it can't be, it can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. What are you talking about? The, the picture you saw? Huh, with the phone call, Ariana said that she did love Ashman once. So is Ashman her father? Um, okay, what do we got, what have we got uh, next? Find Lynn? Dude, I don't know where she is. Uh, did she go through here? It's locked, dude. Well, how am I supposed to... Wait, was there something I was supposed to get in here? Besides the gossip phone call? Oh, here it is. Yeah, launch of Rosso Gallo in partnership with Phenoxel Associates. Yeah, we've seen this like a thousand times. Wait, hang on a second. That looks like Rosemary in there. Ariana Gallo. Oh wait, but it's Ariana Gallo. You. And she's dead. This is not a coincidence. They know who I really am. Great. Well, I wanted to look at the other ones too. Oh, okay. Richard Felton. Dad, I can't believe that you were behind all of this too. Okay, so she's catching up to us a little bit. Stefano Ashman. So it's true. Ashman was obsessed with my mother. It's so obvious, even in the photo. <laughs> He can't keep his eyes off of her. Yeah, he's the only one not looking. Oh, brother. Okay. The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. I, I, I don't know. Who cares? I hate to say it. 
Jesus Christ, it's him. I recognize that... that walking stick. He's the one who threw me down the stairs earlier on. Professor Albert Elias Wyman. <laughs> guys, you guys use his full name every time you speak about him. Okay, we got it. Mom. Dad. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Well, then why do you have a why gun? Why let me go then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother. Ooh. That disgusting bitch. But Noxel made her lose her mind. She had to get in the way. I love Ariana. Why did she keep this apart? Yeah, I wonder why. Mr. Ashman. Look at yourself. She had to be shown who was the real man. Oh, no. Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her? Charming. Yeah, why would she want to keep you away from Celeste? <laughs> oh, I can't think of any reason why. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. That's way over there. Okay. Oh, wow. Ow. You just- Ow! Did you just shoot me? That's where you were hiding? I'm not hiding- Ow! He just shot me! What? He literally just shot me three times! What are you- What are you supposed to do? What? Can I skip this? Can I please skip? Maybe I can what? Your big plan is the fire extinguisher? Okay. Okay, so I got the fire extinguisher. So now what? What am I- I'm sorry, what am I doing? Okay, we need to hide. This is not cool. What the fuck? Okay, hang on. Give me a second. We need to hide in this. All right, so I got, yeah, give me a second. What the hell? Can I look at the inventory in here? Come on. Okay, I hear him. Oh, where'd I go? Turn around. Get the hell out of here. What do you want me to use the fire extinguisher on? Okay. I'm gonna use my moth keys. I'm gonna use my moth keys for some skill upgrades. So excuse me, I'm gonna go do that real quick. All right, just uh, give me a second. Wait. Wait, what? There's more, they put more moth keys down right by it. Have those been there the entire time? Okay, health recovery speed is increased by 5%. Mirror's healing speed and recovery time is increased by 10%. E well, do I really want to spend 10 on that? Uh, let's do it. Slightly reduces difficulty of hiding spot. Or wait, do I want this? Noise from movements reduced. Noise from mov movements reduced above 10%. Why does it say of 10%? That annoys me. Okay, that's fine though. So I'm, I'm a lot stealthier now. Okay, what does this fire extinguisher do? I don't understand. I've got it equipped. It works. Ah! It works. You just you just pulled it out. Okay, let's 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 try it. Where is he? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on out. Eat fire extinguisher. He's coming. Is he? Got him! I got an achievement. Strike! Oh. Okay, no. This is so stupid. This is so dumb. Does it work? 
What do you mean you almost had it? It's really annoying me that you keep saying that. What's happening? Huh? What? The most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings with rapid impulses and synapses. I feel like I'm watching a Neil Breen movie right now. Without the use of senses. That would this be feels like Twisted Pear. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee... What? Or should I say... What? what? ...was... Whoever was hypnotizing what? others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. What's happening? The phenoxyl was this able is to fill in so distracting. Gaps. Oh, Ashman's in here, and he was trying to shoot. Defense, He's in here twice. As traumas from one's memory. Okay, I'm gonna try to ignore it. Then. That damned mother of hers. Okay, I can't concentrate on this. During her pregnancy, <laughs> managed to pass on to her Stop! Why is he standing on me? Power. A special Do power, right? The, Reed? the mods. Celeste was born a queen bee. No, I okay. I understand about as much as I can understand while that was happening in the background. Holy shit! <sighs> hey, remember in the last video when I said I had concerns about this game being ready for release? I'm just saying. Oh, Andrea's back, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first I was like, wait, aren't you dead? Didn't I kill you? But no. Man, Ashman's using you as his pack mule, huh? Make her disappear. This is all yours. Do what you want. Okay. Hey, what's up? Lady. Speaking of twisted pair. Did your pair, mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> uh, it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up! Shut up! <laughs> It's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep Andrew's up the just act? like that at just ten years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted. You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother. What? Hey. So, during this scene, I was, understandably, at a bit of a loss for words. But I just want to say, after the fact, while I'm editing this video, that uh, I find this scene kind of uncomfortable. I find the entire storyline of Jennifer Richard Dean Felton pretty uncomfortable. But in this scene in particular, it really comes across like they're using their trans character as a source of edgy dialogue and shock factor. And I have the same feelings about it as I do about uh, horror games constantly using asylums and mental hospitals as sources of horror. It's just, I think it's kind of questionable. And I got a little bit tired of it at this part, but I, I was a little bit too busy processing 
other things like Mr. Ashman dancing on my head and shooting his gun uh, to properly express it. So I'm saying so after the fact. This is, is kind of edgy nonsense. Give up! There's nothing you can do! That wasn't on the subtitle. <laughs> Wait, what? So Jennifer Richardine Felton is my mother. Quickly, or else you might die frozen. Okay, I, I'm having a lot of trouble concentrating on this right now, Jennifer, or Celeste. <laughs> You can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. Who is this voice? You are a uh, mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Uh, yeah. Tutorial using moth power. Okay, before we get into the moth power tutorial, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Uh, okay, so let me get this straight. So Stefano Ashman, as uh, Ariana called him, he not only had sex with Ariana, but also Jennifer Richard Dean Felton, and also his sister Gloria Ashman. This guy sucks. Is there? Did you, what, are you? Do and Andrea have a little thing too? You sex pest, horrible human being. So hang on. So Jennifer gave birth to Celeste, and and okay, I I'm gonna stop trying to make sense of it. I do feel weird about the. Oh, okay. On to more positive things. Moth power. Use middle mouse button to activate your moth power. With your moth, you can distract enemies and free yourself from unpleasant situations. Let's do that. I pressed it. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh... Oh. Do I... Do I do anything? Huh? Oh, oh, she just glows like this when there's something in the way. I thought I saw her hands glowing, and so I thought maybe I untie her as the moth. Wait, so it showed it showed a thing earlier, didn't it? Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you press this. It showed that earlier. Okay, so I don't freeze to death. Oh, now I get down. How'd you do that? Why couldn't you have just gotten down? I did it! I did it! I can't believe I did it! I'm sorry! What's happening? I have to leave at once. Sir, Shh. they're coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. What the fuck? They're coming! Shut up! Sir, the girl. I can't find her. I had warned the others not to lower their guard. What? Please. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe I should have gone through the open door while he was doing that. How come I could see him for a second now, and now I can't? Wyman was right. We should have abandoned the project while we were still in time. Okay, I'm just gonna head on out. See you later, buddy boy. Kiss my ass, dickhead! No! Discreetly, Celeste! Open Kiss. this fucking door, you- They're all crazy! Crazy! What is happening? Oh, wait, wait, he just broke through really quickly? Ah! Fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> You're so evil. Hide from Ashman. What, there was like no time! There was like no time! You even stole from me! Okay, we'll, we'll hide here again. Do you think he's... What is this? Why pick up? Moth keys? Where is he? Hello, dude! I'm obviously in here! 
Where are you right now? That was close. I have to be careful from now on. I was careful! You were the... I was careful. You were the one who said, and I quote, Eat my ass, dickhead. Or I don't know what you said. I don't know if you said eat my ass, but I, if you didn't, you should have. Make the most out of items. Yeah, I no, I know this. Okay, I... Wait, did I lose all of my... Okay, this time for sure I lost all my diversion items. Moth key, okay. What is this? What is it? Icebreaker? Okay, wait. Oh, that's a defense item. Quit, or, uh... A QDE is what they're called. Bottle. Okay, we, so we can craft stuff. Okay. Shh. So what's, what's, what is it now? I wish I didn't have to scroll down to run away from the restaurant. Oh, gladly. Hasn't that been our objective for like a long time though? What is pick up? Insect. Control me. Uh, control. Not you too, Elisa. Not you too. Oh, that's funny. I said that earlier. I said that she was a stalker too. End? Is she gonna this spot me? Has to be God's punishment for all that we have done. Oh, shut up. Okay, stun the enemy. Stun damage. Uh, craft this. I don't know. Okay, what if we do this? No! Why did it break on the corner? Oh, she's got an axe. I just want to get away from this place. Okay. <laughs> Easily defeated by a table in the way. Oh no. Oh fuck. What's this? Oh my god, I can't read that right now. I literally oh my god. I I there is no I can't I lit I just got stun locked to death. <laughs> so all many right. girls. Could all of this have something to do with me? Uh mysterious kidnappings of adolescents How continue. Could they do this. How? They're both ranting and raving out there. God. Suspected serial kidnapper. After another girl has gone missing, the police are now suspicious that this may be a case of serial kidnappings. It is believed that the kidnapper is within a 50 kilometer range of Mount Etna. Well, that narrows it down. Sheesh. All the kidnapped girls share. To be strong. A variety of traits. Their ages are between 13 and 15 years. Most have light eyes, light hair and are all orphans are now adopted. The girls who went missing were kidnapped in the area that stretches from, yeah, yeah, yeah. The police who up till now have taken the case lightly despite She's there being a total of 10 unresolved cases. She can't help us. Now believe that only one person may be responsible for all the kidnappings. Through investigations will be executed. I, I eagerly await the through investigations. I need the cup. Okay, so. Dear God. Oh, can I? Please help me. Oh, wait. Carillon. Um. Oh, portable radio. Well, then. Okay, well, with the portable radio, can't I. Okay. <sighs> I feel dead inside. Is it gonna. What? That's, you just like turned around and saw me? Bullshit, bullshit, Eliza. Bullshit. What's the point? What's the point of the diversion items? Oh my God, we might as well just fucking get, get over. Get over this, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What about the balcony? What are you talking about? I knew this wasn't just a bad dream. I wasn't losing my mind. Uh. Okay, I just All right, uh, oh my god, Andrea's here too. All three of them are here Why well, just pick up glass sweet get in here get in here go 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 Okay What there's what is in here bottle cool they gave me crafting items in here Okay, let's just Let's just wait then. Oh my god. Wait, they're coming in. 
Don't come in here. There's... There's... I'm taking a poo. <laughs> you... You don't want to come in here. Trust me. It smells super bad in here, Andrea. You would hate it. What? What the what the? I got moth key. Cool. So wait, what am I doing? Oh my god. 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 Get it. Get get through here. What? Stop shooting at me. What did you say? What what is my find a way to startle the watchdog? So do I just Do I just craft something? Oh my god. They're all three of them are right here. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't want to hurt you. Come on. Oh my god. Did I just, did I lose them? No, I didn't. Uh... What is this? Moth key? Is this open? Oh my god, there's nothing in here. What the fuck? There's... I literally, I can't, I can't do anything. Why don't you use your I can't do anything. All three of them? What? Uh, three of them should not be active at a time. What? Shit. There has to be a way to shut him off. What, what is this? What is all this I'm seeing? Oh my god. I just want to go home. Quiet. Oh, milk carton. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, we'll hide behind the- we'll hide behind the door. They- if they come in here, the- the door will open this way, and, uh, I'll be hidden. It's a foolproof plan. So wait, can I use my moth power to- oh. I'm counting to three. Oh my god. One, two, two and a half. No, don't go in there. Or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally come. fine. You go in there. Okay. Oof. Okay, the moth power took a lot out of me, but that's kind of cool. No, stay crouched. Don't come in. Don't come in. The only one who actually gets any work done around here. Okay, so you can see their outlines recently after you used your moth power. Okay, is there anything I can craft? Because I think I have to startle the dog with a crafted item. What about in here? Apparently, there's like. But I just... Oh! <laughs> what are you doing in here? Okay. Um... You know what? I think we need to upgrade the moth power. Increases range and duration of highlight effect. Give me that. Moth eye duration. Range and duration of highlight effect. Yes, that's very useful. We need to have all of those, like, injected into my veins, please. Yeah, thank you. Now there's some ammonia here. Is there... Okay, we can do this. Stun the enemy for some time. Now, here's my question. D is this something that's gonna work on the dog? And also, can we equip this, please? Thank you. Quiet. So stupid. That's not going to stun the dog. Wait, he turned around. Why did he turn around? They mustn't find me. What are you barking at, boy? What are you doing? Oh my god, I... Oh, so swallowing your own pee. Please, I beg you! What did he say? Something about swallowing my own pee? Oh my god. No. Ow, uh, what the fuck is... What? Are you behind that door? Or under that table? Hide. Hide in here. Okay. I want to save. 
I want to save right now. Get me out of this right now. You can't hide. Here this place I is come. His. Let's try to restore life here and save the game. That's good. Now save it, please. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Okay, what's this? What am I looking at here? Okay, who cares right now? We gotta have some priorities. What is... Okay, awkward camera angle, notwithstanding, what does that have to do with anything? Okay, Elisa's the chef, Lynn waits tables. Huh? How is this helpful? Oh my god. My eyes. They burn. Wow, oh, cry me a freaking river, dude. Can I get this bottle? Can I please? The bottle, thank you. Okay, let's see if we can sneak past. I'm very curious if I can do this. They really thought they had found a solution? After the mess they made? Oh my god. It worked. You can just sneak past her. That's great. How come... What is this? Moth keys? Damn, okay. Okay, she's just gonna do... She's just gonna do dishes. And that's totally fine. I'm gonna stealth. Where are they, like, normally? Where are they? Okay, so... Oh my god, he's right there. I have to make sure they don't find me. But damn, now they know where I am. Quiet. Oh my god, dude. Fuck you. Oh, jeez. I have no idea what you're supposed to do here. I could have been your family. A real family. Oh, shut up. Jennifer? <laughs> yes. Well, no, I'm not saying anything. Where are they? Are they... Okay, they're right there. Stop. What? Jennifer? Oh, it's God, like this... Don't make me lose my patience. Did they have that game in the first one? It feel, I feel like it was different. Forever. Don't you understand? What? Eliza or whatever, she's out here too. What? Stop, I already made you go away. I already... Mom. Dad. No. Gloria. I am so sorry. No one cares about you. <laughs> Stop checking this cabinet, please. Don't you, don't you come back and, don't you come back and check it again, okay? I will go in here and get some new skills, though. <laughs> close the door, close the door, please. Here we go. Yeah, let's get some more, let's get some more skills. Okay, range and duration of highlight effect. Duration of the moth eye's stun effect. Moth eye cooldown reduced, that's cool. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, just shush. So we're on the other side of the wall, I think, right now, from Eliza doing the dishes. Or whatever her name is, I don't know. Okay, so... Okay, so... Do I use the moth on the dog? Oh my god. What? The moth is really hard. You can't... You can't make the moth go through... I'm thinking we probably use the moth. Okay. I did it. Sit. Sit. No. dog. What do you Be quiet. Don't kill the dog. Didn't I go on a rant about this in the Made of Skur video? Okay. 
Run away from the restaurant. Okay, does it matter? Do, do I have to stealth out now? Okay, so like... Should I even... But she's just sitting there. Can I leave though? What's this? <laughs> Why would I read this? No. No, I won't come here. Farewell. The Red Nun? What? Are you okay? So is this Gloria? We're going back into the restaurant? What was the whole point? Stay back. Calm down. What? I'm back to myself. You can trust me. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell is going on with the others? Listen huh? to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place. Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That with the voice, moth thing? Was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside. Oh. And I know that you can hear me. Listen up. There's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Wait, hey. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Okay. Uh... Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Okay, yeah, you- Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Wait, so Use the Red it. Nun is patrolling now? I can't move. I literally can't move. Am I supposed to... Uh... What? Well, okay, they're literally... I couldn't do anything! She wasn't moving, and I wasn't moving. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Shit, she's coming this way. There's... Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. Okay, you gotta just get there really fast, I guess. Press it, press it. I pressed it. I pressed it. Okay. I'm trying to go back now. Well, I- I used the jukebox. Where'd she go? What the- what- how'd she get the fuck over there?! I can't get out of this. I can't get out of moth power. Okay, it seems like I'm not the only one who can't move right now. The Red Nun's not moving at all. And, uh... I don't know how she got all the way over here, to be honest. But she's not moving, either. You also- you can't move backwards as a moth, and that really annoys me. <laughs> she just disappears. So this is the key right here. Help Eliza find the closet key. Okay. No! What's she happening? Oh God, Did I just complete- I Jen, what do I do? I don't know, am I supposed to just be a moth this entire time? Um, I, uh, I don't know. Here? You go here? I clicked on it. What? She just ran right in front of the Red Nun. And, uh, The Red Nun's so Thank stupid. You, Thank you. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be moving at all right now, I'm just supposed to be a moth the whole time? A longer. I thought I was, like, soft-locked. Oh my god. So this is apparently what you do? She's getting away! She's getting away! Was that Jen, you? you can stop her! I beg you, stop her! Why don't you just get in there, dude? Get her. Uh, my head! 
Okay. Have to get to Elisa now. Okay, meet Elisa in the closet. Avoid Red Nun. Okay. So, so she's just hanging out in a closet right now? Can I... Okay, I'm gonna try to distract her. With this. Okay, see? Now I'm gonna wait. Oh boy, I... The game's been such a... Buggy experience so far. I wasn't sure if that was an actual bug or not. Okay, so she's taking a long time to turn off the jukebox. Okay, this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. But the bell's gonna ring. Or not. The bell's not gonna ring at all. Ah, uh, actually, it... Hey, what's up? I'm here with you. Tell me, what the hell is going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of that fire at the convent, haven't you? Well, not all of them died. So that's Gloria? Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. I just want to make sure. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. That's not good. Uh... Why does it happen so frequently? There's much time left. I beg you. Please. Oh no. The moths. Yeah, I get it. Just go ahead and jump out the window. Stop it. Oh, or the dumb one, the dumb waiter. I it's forgot what we were even doing. All of us. And we are part of the same thing. Okay. I, I feel like the loading screen isn't supposed to come in that quickly. Are we gonna go back to the Rosemary and Ashman scene, or...? Oh, okay, wait. Okay, we're back. It didn't say it, but we're back a few months earlier. Is that Lynn singing? Where is that voice coming from? Oh boy. Okay. I think I I think I gotta stop this video here. Oh man, remothered broken porcelain. I gotta say tormented fathers. I think may, maybe set my expectations a little too high for this. It it because I don't know, man. I gotta go back and play Tormented Fathers. Was it like this? I don't remember it being like this. I know, I know, I I will say I want to be fair. Tormented Fathers was pretty buggy early on. It wasn't this buggy, but I think towards the end of the development cycle, they got it working pretty well. Like I think they cleaned up a lot of that stuff. I could be wrong because I only played it when it was initially released. But that's just what I heard. So maybe they'll do the same thing with this. You gotta hope. You gotta hope it happens sooner rather than later. I'm sorry, but maybe, like, the, the biggest offender for me is um, Mr. Ashman coming in, dancing on my head and shooting his gun during an important, like, exposition dump scene. Oh boy, anyway, um, and that last scene with the three stalkers, that was, like, way too much. Like, even even more than just the bugs, there's some really questionable design decisions happening. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll be back with, uh, I guess, the second half of the game. 
probably through the first half, right? Probably the second half to go. Uh, and I'll be posting that as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about Remothered Broken Porcelain so far. And, um, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Think critically.